Let's start this one out by letting me tell you something about myself. In my honestly wrong opinion, romance is the best anime genre out there. Try to get me to watch My Hero, Norgami, Dragon Ball, or any of those other 4 out of 10 shonen and I'm out. But put on My Sweet Tyrant and I'm glued to that screen. There's just something about it that gets to me. They say you always love most what you don't have, and I'm already a 10,000 year old person with weird powers and shit. I don't need to be reminded of things I got, I need to be reminded of the things I don't have. Tony Kawa, Orimiya, Sasaki Miyano, Chunbyo, all these horribly overrated shows are just so good and so easy to consume, and not to mention they are all just so damn wholesome. Now, take everything I just said up to this point, throw it out the window, because who needs happiness when you have pain? Scott's wish is 12 episodes of just straight dread. I mean, look at this opening. Everyone looks happy to be there. I will say though, if you want a happy ending to this, read the manga. But who the hell wants that? I'm looking for pain. The manga was made by Mengo Yokiari, who just made another really good manga that is also really sad. So we know we're getting some good material here. The show itself is made by Studio Lerch and directed by Masaomi Ando, who together have a love for Windows. The main points of this story go as follows. Hanabi loves her teacher, who she grew up with, and for some reason likes to call her brother, which is totally normal and not confusing and weird for the first three episodes. Mugi also loves his teacher, who's a psychopath, and they both realize the similarities in each other's situation and decide to fake date, and by fake date I mean <laughs> until one crush falls for each other. <laughs> That's not how you, I was supposed to word it, you get what I'm trying to say here. But we're already off to a great start, huh? Well, luckily it stops there because nothing bad in this show happens afterwards. Never, ever, ever. But now don't think that these two young whippersnappers are A-OK -okay because this man right here takes advantage of literally everyone and this girl literally calls her crush her brother. But these aren't the only two that are, well, he might say, <laughs> scum. As teachers mentioned earlier, this girl, just about everyone is not a good person. Maybe with the exception of this girl, she's pretty much innocent throughout all of this. The show, however, is really good in that it doesn't really have a great ending where everyone's happy and joyful and high-fiving, dancing, or whatever the hell. This show just ends. It doesn't make me feel good about myself at least, but it doesn't make me feel upset either. Mostly because of the fact that the show just straight up goes 0 to negative 100 really quick on the fun scale. But we need that sometimes. And nobody's talked about the show since it came out, as far as I can tell. And honestly, it's really good, and I hope more people can see it from this video. So I just wanted to drop my two cents in, so with that out of the way, thanks for watching, chase your dreams, and have a good one.